Hi Keto fam, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Christina and I've been on a ketogenic diet now for more than two and a half years and in that time I've lost almost 50 kilograms or around about 105 pounds and I've done this without any excessive exercise, any slimming pills, any wraps, any magic formula, just simply by changing the food I eat. So today I want to talk to you guys about the liver. Now, if I was to tell you that you had a defective liver, you'd probably be pretty seriously worried and head off to your doctor. But actually, all of us have a defective liver. And the reason it's defective is because it doesn't have an off switch. It continues to create glucose for our bodies through gluconeogenesis, and that's the term used for the creation of new glucose from fat and protein that's in our bodies. And you're probably thinking, uh, well, you know, I'm on a low carb diet, my body needs glucose, that's fine. And yes, that is absolutely fine. When we're on a low carb diet or ketogenic diet, we're not eating that much glucose. So our body needs to create new glucose through gluconeogenesis from the fat and protein in our body to give our body, our muscles and our brains the glucose that it requires to function. However, if you increase the amount of carbs that you're eating and increase the amount of glucose in your body, your liver doesn't actually switch off or downregulate the amount of glucose that it's making, which is what leads us all to our, the problem that we've faced with being overweight, having type 2 diabetes, all of that. I want you to think of it like a manufacturing facility. So let's say um, it's a factory that makes cars. <clears throat> And this factory that makes cars has a certain amount of requirement from its customers, so it has an output. But what's happening is the machinery is starting to speed up and there's more and more cars being produced. So at the end, you have a requirement from the customers plus the surplus. And what do they do with the surplus cars? They put them into storage. And your liver is exactly the same. Your liver will continue to create glucose regardless of the amount of glucose that you eat. There is no off switch and it's basically a defect of the body because you would think um, that naturally if you eat the amount of carbs that you need to function that you, you should stop making it but that's not the case. If you cut out carbs completely your body makes all that you need from your liver through this pathway. So it doesn't make sense that if we eat enough dietary glucose that the glucose in our liver, the production of the glucose in our liver should stop. That would make sense, but unfortunately it doesn't. So it's just more evidence of the fact that we are not made to eat a high carbohydrate diet. We just don't thrive on it. Because our body makes all the carbohydrate we need, we actually don't need to eat any. Whereas we need fat and we need protein. They're both vital to life for making our hormones and keeping our cells healthy, keeping our bodies functioning, keeping our brains functioning. And it, it's all required. We require to eat fat and protein. Carbohydrates are not essential. There are no essential carbohydrates because if you eat zero carb, and I mean completely zero carb, you eat just meat products and some eggs maybe, you're getting all the ingredients you need to make the glucose within your liver that your body needs to function. So I hope you found this video interesting. If you liked it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you again next time.